Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. We saw this amazing video of what I like to call a super ninja Bigfoot. A girl who appears to be working in a customized skid loader is clearing trees and branches on an unimproved grass and dirt forest road. She was snapchatting and caught this incredibly fast Bigfoot jumping 20 to 30 feet from a tree and sprints out of sight into the cover in about two split seconds. So fast, she didn't even notice it. Another person on Snapchat pointed it out and slowed it down a little bit for her. How the heck does something leap down from a tree at breakneck speed and not break both legs or other body parts when it hits the ground? This creature Bigfoot, if you will, or maybe an escaped giant monkey that is so intent at hiding because it does not want to go back to the zoo, uses controlled descents. Let me show you. I'll take you through the zoomed frames of interest, then I'll enlarge the video and slow it down for you. This is where the creature had leaped from the tree from higher up and at first grabs a hold of the tree. I'm talking about controlled descent. It is propelling itself towards the ground by grabbing branches or the trunk of the tree and it's also controlling its descent. It's not going to sustain an injury when it gets to the ground. It may have also landed on this branch with its feet. It's controlling its descent from two points right here, grabbing a hold of the branch or the trunk and its feet on this other branch. The next frame during its descent, it grabs a hold of another branch of the tree. You can see right here, it grabs a hold and keeps going down. These frames of interest are in sequence. However, there is a lot of stuff going on in between these frames that I'm showing you. So when I show you the zoomed in video, look for them. Just before this frame, right here, it appears to swing out to the side and using the swing momentum to propel itself in the direction it's going now. You can see that it's grabbing the branch right here and may have touched the ground for a millisecond as it swings and leaps to the next tree. This is one of my favorite parts of the video because you can clearly see both feet, both arms, except for one of the arms is still a hold of the tree as it's launching itself forward. It seems to glide as if it is leaping above the ground to the next tree. And here's its swing to the next tree. It obviously still has a hold of the trunk of the tree as it's launching. This is why it moves so fast. It propels itself forward by grabbing the trees and leaping from the ground or other branches of trees. Now this frame is really cool. It's actually airborne. It doesn't look like it's touching anything right now. It's got both arms in the air like it's being held up. That's its momentum going forward to the next. It may have very well touched the ground with its left foot as it propelled forward, but when you watch the video, it very well could still be airborne right here. This frame right here, it's grabbing a hold of the next tree, which it uses to propel itself forward. Pretty cool. Now you can see the trailing leg is kicked back at a 90 degree angle, which Bigfoot are famous for doing. Then it launches itself into the brush and disappears. All of this happens in like less than two seconds, believe it or not, just crazy. Okay, this is running through pretty slow and it's scrubbing back and forth so that you can see what's going on here. I zoomed in as much as I could without getting it too pixelated. And now I'll show you an even slower version so you can get a better look at what's going on. Superhuman gymnast in a monkey suit showing off his skills for less than two seconds on a pixelated phone camera? An escaped giant monkey trying to stay hidden from officials or your average everyday Bigfoot doing what they are famous for doing, using their super ninja skills of the forest to avoid people. Wow, what an amazing video. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching.